Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today it's the weekly drive. And uh, look, I'm terribly sorry about my voice. It is still stuffed uh, from the other day. So uh, I'm just, I'm just going to try and push through as hard as I can. So uh, today we have the Mac Ultra Liner for that one. And this is by Cyrus the Virus. Look, great job there, Cyrus. Um, it got 14 votes. Second in place was... Uh, now this was a late entry I was actually going to put this up at the same time as the um, uh, as the what was it the sorry no that was sorry the FLB was second sorry and that had eight and then a, a late entry which was the Pete 357 which I thought was going to actually win but didn't and that was the Pete 357 heavy haul we might have another look at that another time because that was, uh, that's a really good one, that is. And then there was the Volvo uh, FH13, which was zero votes, actually. So that's a bit of a shame. But anyway, look, let's get this on the road. Now, today we are using the Mac E9 V8 720 chipped. And we have the Eaton Fuller RTLO 22918R AS with a diff ratio of 3.85, so 3.85 diff ratio. Now the trailer that we're hauling on the back here is for all sorts of gravels and all sorts of things, sands, you name it. And that is a new one, a new trailer that I've seen come out. It's the 1992 Beale Bullet Trailer. Looks awesome. We don't actually have these here in Australia, but. Uh, Man, that looks great. I really like it. Now, our load today, we are carrying gravel, 19 tons. This should be able to easily pull it. And we're going from, we're going to New Orleans, and we're going from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. And we're going all the way down to New Orleans. There we go. So it's going to be a nice, easy cruise. It's not too hard, this, this run at all. Very straightforward, just straight along the 8.5, then the 6.5, and then the 10, and we're there. So, no problem, pretty easy. Right, let's get on the road, shall we? I think my voice is sounding worse every day. I really think it is. Now, uh, this, this truck, it really is a good truck. I think Cyrus has done an awesome job on this. It drives really nice. Um, it sounds awesome. Uh, on the other side of the road. Senior, not that side of the road. So I think this is one of those trucks that you really, if you're a Mac fan, you really, really need to have this in your collection, so. Just gonna fix my track IR. Where is it? There we are, that's a lot better. It was tilting up there so I couldn't see the gauges. So let's see, speed limit around these parts would be about 30. Come on, damn thing, get into the right gear. These profiles don't like the shifter. <laughs> it's uh, this is a dodgy profile that I'm using. It's not a start, uh, you know, a scratch profile. Like scratch profiles are actually, uh, they work a lot better with it so I think it's something to do with all the configuration that's happened from the last person that's had it taking it wide there we go but yeah I always use dodgy profiles for testing and stuff so let's see we turn here And my track IR is still looking backwards. I don't know what the go is.
Right. It's a Mustang there. I don't think we're going to be able to get on turn there with all this traffic. Here we go. We're going to now. Come on, track IR. Oh, so he just rips through the gears with this E9. It's awesome. 720 chipped and tuned. Very good. Very good indeed. It's 8.58 a.m. in the morning. I thought it was the afternoon. That's all right. Wow. So, um, let's see. Let's talk about some news. It's very, very brief, the news. Now, probably some new news will come out after I've actually done this video. It's generally how it normally works. Uh, for those of you who are Australian, like myself, uh, and you're well aware that Australia Day is just around the corner, well, it's actually tomorrow for me, um, we've now got our very own DLC pack for Euro Truck Simulator 2, the Australian DLC pack in the latest update from SCS called it's called, uh, what, well, what was it, Kangaroos and Vampires. So, we've got, uh, now have our own pack, and it's not even, it's not a shit one either, it's actually really good. And, uh, it's, I was saying to some of the guys the other day, it's almost like they were listening to me, like SCS were listening to me, because in the past, I've actually said that, um, uh, if they ever do... Uh, slow down, mate. Come on. If they ever, do, I said, if they ever do a DLC, the one, the several things they have to have. They have to have the Union Jack, and they have to have the uh, kangaroo on the side there. Uh, and they must use Australian colours, of course. Which I don't know if it's just if the world knows that that's it, or if the <coughs> if the world knows that we have a lot of kangaroos here um, I kind of figured that that's how, what they would but I don't know it just seems like a coincidence maybe it's just that <coughs> I like to think that SCS listens to me anyway <laughs> every now and then uh, uh, yeah so and also there was another DLC there called Romanian DLC or something like that not, not, not as important as the Australian one but um, that was there as well. So uh, I, they were 99 cents US. So I purchased both. Uh, I, I, like, I like both of them. But I, the Australian one has got me. Definitely. I love the Australian one a lot better. What have we got? 70 through here. Come on, track I are. Uh, see if we can get her up to 70. Might be pushing it a bit. So, yeah, that's pretty much the actual uh, SCS news. Uh, track IR, what are you doing? Hang on, let me pause this for a second. I gotta bend these little clip things so that they're pointing up a bit more because. I have my track IR way up top there. Let's see if that helps. <coughs> yeah, so that's... Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, that's all the SCS news, unfortunately, for this week. Hopefully they bring out some more soon. Uh, I'm very, very keen for them to bring out some more uh, American trucks. You know, DLC. And um, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, and I was having a look at the map today. Yeah, uh, from all the information that it looks like, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, they're going to be bringing out some uh, new maps soon. Because a lot of people, and I'm, 
sorry to say this, I'm, I'm a massive fan of this game, as you know. But a lot of people are actually getting bored with this game. And it's a real shame, because there's so much that you can do in this game. And, um, yeah, it's just a little bit of modding, guys, and, and you can get so much more out of it. Let's get that cruise control on. So if you know somebody that's actually a bit bored of the game or whatnot, then um, give them a help out. Show them about mods. If they already know about mods, show them some new mods. We really need to work together, guys, and, and try and promote this game as much as we can. Because it's not just SCS that benefits this. The bigger the community uh, for this game that we can make, the better it's going to be. So, um, yeah, I try and push this whenever I can. I tell people about it all the time. And um, a few people laugh at me. They think it's funny. Uh, but I don't care. I'm having fun. It's good fun, this game. And then I whip out my phone and show them my setup, and they go, holy shit! <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's a different story then. Fuck you, Track IR, you suck. Um, what else has been going on besides me losing my voice this week? Which I'm hoping will come back very soon. Whiskey, I need some whiskey. It's a shame I'm driving today because, uh, I'd, I'd probably hit the whiskey and that'll help my throat. <laughs> Listen to it, it's terrible. Shit, I got two drinks here. Oh man, that's heaps better. There we go. A bit of lubrication on my voice, and it's all good. <coughs> Dry, sound like a football player. Yeah, mate, how's it going? Yeah, oh. Man, we played that game so hard, I had got tackled in the... And then, you know, this bloke, other bloke come up and he smashed me in the face and I just smashed him back because he's a real prick, you know. And I hate that bloke. But anyway, we're all good at the end of the game, mate. But once we're on field, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, mate. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's my impersonation of a football player. <laughs> I know nothing about sport, though, so i got no idea what I'm talking about. Talk about computers to me. Trucks and computers. This is, um, this, this truck is cruising so nice. It's just so smooth. Um, it, it really does just drive so nicely along the road. It's, you know, it, you can't even feel that there's a trailer on the back with this truck. I think uh, what I would, if I was to do this again, another drive, I'd probably put on a lower horsepower engine. Something along the lines of like a 500. Uh, that would give it more of a realistic feel to it. Because at the moment, it just, just feels like there's nothing there can't feel it pushing, pulling, nothing. Because the trailer is always resisting you. So, uh... But, uh, I suppose with the actual larger loads, like the... Oh, jeez, am I actually speeding? Yeah, I am, 65. With the actual, uh, larger loads this would be a lot better this this actual come on there we go yeah this actual uh, diff sorry the diff ratio and the actual uh, engine would be a lot better together with a larger load so more so the engine than anything else sorry a lot of things are just going all funny at the moment it's distracting me <laughs> while I'm trying to talk 
Oh dear. So, uh, maps we are testing at the moment. We are currently testing. Fuck off, track I are. Uh, currently testing coast to coast, as you know, we're on at the moment. Uh, Canada Dream. We. And we've all. Fuck you, track I are. I tell you what. Um, and we've also got the latest patch for coast to coast. So they're, they're the maps we're looking at at the moment. I'm going to put in, that's just for today, uh, Trucking Good Saturday. I'm going to try and put in, there's a Mexican map that I saw as well. Uh, it's not Mexi, Mexiscan because that's now Canada Dream. It's another one which does Mexico. So I'm going to have a look at that one as well. I reckon that's going to be interesting. So we might see if we can do some Mexican jobs on the uh, on the weekend. My uh, Jesus, that is pissing me off. That uh, cruise control. Where is it? Uh, down the bottom. Have I got that set stupidly? Yeah, look, five kilometers. I needed to go one kilometer per 0% tolerance. That's a lot better. Uh, and then we'll go out of there. Thank you. That's why my cruise control is messing around. I couldn't figure out why it was jumping all the time whenever I go and change the setting. Look at that, that's heaps better now. <laughs> I must have accidentally bumped that setting one time when I was in there last. Let's get a let's get a shot, a photo, shall we? Take a photo. There's not much out here though. Not much out in this part of the neck of the woods. Though we can get a good shot of the truck as it's pelting along the highway. Bit more, uh, there's such, yeah, there we go. That looks pretty cool. Let's go right up close. Just go a bit out. Whoops. Oh, 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 I'm messing it up. There we go. That's cool. That'll make a good desktop shot, that one. Action shot. There we go. And I use those for thumbnails and that. So they work out really good. So twelve fifteen it is PM. Not in real not real life, I'm just looking at the clock over there. Actually don't need that up anymore, do I? See this is a nice cruise this is. So what was it? Let's have a quick check on the map. It was the six five. Oh we're on the eight five goes into the six five. And then on the ten. So down at uh, at uh, mobile, Mo mobile, whatever it is, uh, it'll probably tell us New Orleans there that way. I'd say oh, I don't know for sure. I haven't been down here in a long time. We're running out of Georgia, son. I love these I love these drives in the in these um, these cab over trucks I know a lot of you like the you know the long nose on the front of the trucks but um, I don't know it's cab overs do it for me I reckon it's because it's the tighter turning that you can do
Uh, track IR, thank you. Back this way, not looking behind us. There's nobody coming up behind us to go and snatch our lollies or anything. or Coming to shoot us. No, not in the truck. Now I've been having a look at uh, some new games that are coming out this year, guys. Uh, simulation games for us to have a look at on the channel. And there is actually a few that are coming out. There's a new flight simulator coming out very, very soon, which I know is going to be an $80, $90 game, guaranteed. And I've actually gone to the company and tried to see if I can get a key for it. Don't know if that'll work or not, but I may have to actually pay that for that. And this time I'm going to try to figure out how to fly for real so I don't know how I'm going to do it but anyway I'll have to find tutorials on how to fly I think start with a small plane a little, uh, little Sussner I think it is if they have those in there but they X, I think it's X-Plane 11, I think it is, the game. It's meant to be uh, better than um, Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Have as much, you know, in-depth as that one. And also, um, it's meant to have the graphics, better graphics as well. So, we'll see. We'll see what that uh, comes up with. I'll try and grab it as soon as I can and we'll give that a go as well. I know it's not trucking, but it's something different. I did see a game that was very, very interesting, especially for those others that are Star Trek fans. I know I'm a Star Trek fan. Um, it's Star Trek... was it? No, what was it? Ah, uh, oh, damn it, I forgot it. It was a virtual reality Star Trek game and you're the actual crew of the star uh, of a starship and you virtual reality you have to you got four of your friends uh, you can do it in multiplayer and you can actually crew uh, the pilot a uh, starship which was really cool and you have a captain you have somebody an engineer uh, you have uh, you know the helm all sorts of stuff like that so that's virtual reality though and I think you can actually do it without virtual reality but that would be really cool to do that track IR you suck uh, what else there was a really good looking pirate game I saw coming out as uh, one of the better simulation games uh, which is actually out now for early access uh, I was thinking about getting that really soon and maybe you know having a look at that one so it's a few games guys that, that are coming out that are really good and also we can't forget the one that I'm eagerly awaiting is cattle and crops uh, that is coming out in March I've already secured a copy so we can get early access to that. Well, sorry, early access to that is March. So if you're interested in, in another farming simulator game, uh, then that might be up, uh, might be something you're interested in. It's meant to be, that from what it looks like, it looks like a cross between spin tires and farming because you do get bogged and stuff like that. So you've got... Uh, heaps of stuff you know so it's a cross between farming simulator 17 and spin tires so that has definitely piqued my interest so uh, that in itself is going to be really really good especially if you like spin tires and you like farming simulator and you can get them both in one now 
Uh, I've had a few people asking me to play some more spin tires. Um, not nothing's changed, guys. Uh, as from what I understand, that company had a lot of issues, and uh, nothing's changed since then. We've got only modded stuff is in there. Maybe we could have a look at some maps or something. You know, do a uh, live stream with uh, some maps, maybe. Actually, that's a good idea, that is. I might have to write that down and have a look at it. What else? Um, so that's all that I've actually found out about so far. There might be some other games. There's that new train simulator game. We really have to get into that train simulator as well. Because um, I purchased that years ago. And they keep giving me upgrades for it. And I can drive a train, no problem. But I kind of figure it's a bit awkward to make a video out of. the normal style of video that I make anyway. Like now with me driving along and talking to you. I mean, <laughs> some of the scenarios in the train take goes for like uh, four hours. It's like, holy shit. That's some long scenario. I mean, I can't sit down and play Train Simulator uh, for that long because it's um, yeah I love the trains but the thing is is that it's just uh, you gotta um, adjust the controls so much really I think the best thing for the train simulator is to have that box you know that actual box that um, that uh, they would use that would probably be the, uh, the best thing though I have nowhere to put that <laughs> I don't even have any room to put a joystick for a flying simulator which is something I have to get I have to get a new joystick I think the Saytech ones they look pretty good that, that's on my list of things my birthday's coming up soon so that's on my list of things to uh, to get Never know, might be able to get one. See, cruising along nicely. Not, does not have a single problem. This truck is just sits so nicely. I'd like to see what the fuel economy for this is. So yeah, it looks like we're on the 10 now by the looks of it. Is that, yeah, there's the 10. So not far away from our destination. I like how this dash, I don't know if this dash is like this for real, but I like how this dash has got the um, the uh, checker plate on there. Oh, what do you, what does the Americans call it? The ha hash plate or whatever it is? But I like how it's got that on it. Track IR, I can't drive if you keep doing that. Turn the in indicator off. That mirror glitched out for a second there. Don't know what the go is with that. It just went 
funny. I think I'm going to try and do some more heavy loads. Um, not just, I mean, for trucking good Saturdays more than anything. Oh, look, there's the coast, there's the shore. Because uh, I'm really needing to remember how to actually drive it, you know, remember to use the gears rather than just uh, doing it the lazy way all the time. I gotta split the gears properly, shift properly. Use a lower range, high range. Not just skip through lows, then switch to high. I put that cruise control back on, so rather than sitting on 60. Oh, here's our destination anyway. Shit. We're turning, mate. You can wait. New Orleans discovered. And there we go, so. Oh, look at that container over there. Look at, look at that container, hang on, let's stop. Look at that, that is shocking. How the hell did that happen? And they're just discussing it. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Uh, maybe uh, we had a looks. It actually looks like a giant sat down on it and squashed it. That's what it looks like. Oh, let's see. This is my favourite place not to deliver. I hate this place. It's a shit place to deliver. Uh, let's see. Oh, they want us to deliver there, so that's all right. I can handle that one. That's easy. G'day, guys. How's it going? Oh, shit. What am I doing? For some reason, I started turning the wrong way. I don't know why. Try and get that in a bit neater. There we go. Attach that trailer. And an excellent, of course. There we go. All right, guys. Well, there we have the actual... Uh, that is the, uh, sorry, Mac Ultraliner. Sorry, I forgot what it was for a second there. See, and there's the gravel inside this trailer. That looks great. Look at that. It's pretty cool. I like that trailer. 
very nice indeed right so there there we go guys this is the winner of the weekly drive we have the mac ultra liner don't forget that after we get 10 weekly drives we will be doing a or 10 or around about 10 uh we will be doing a best of weekly drive so that will be probably around about say march april when we do the first one for 2017 so uh yeah should be a lot of fun well guys that is it for me today i hope you enjoyed today's drive um and thank you very much to cyrus for watching the uh, cyrus the virus for watching the actual mac uh, ultraliner review that we did thank you very much mate i hope you enjoy this weekly drive and congratulations on winning the uh weekly drive for this week this truck now goes into the entries for best of weekly oh sorry the best sorry the uh yeah best of weekly drive so number one that will be well guys that's it from me thank you very much for watching don't forget to check us out on youtube if this is the first time you've seen junior senior gaming and uh we've got over 1500 videos there uh not just uh american trucks and euro trucks there's other games there as well so make sure you check it out so until next time keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and i'm 10 10 on the side and remember game on thanks for watching youtubers if you'd like to watch some more trucking good videos then click on the links beside if you'd like to visit our website or you'd also like to subscribe then click on the links Hello. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on.